Hello and good morning, my fellow tracketeers. How the devil are you? I hope you're all well. Got another video for you. You know, as you do. <laughs> it's all part of doing YouTube. Yes, I know my lane departure system has a malfunction because the sensors are dirty because of the stupid salt on the road. But hey, what can you do? Firemen. I what they're doing. Anyway, it is currently quarter to ten in the morning on Monday, the 30th of January. There you go. Yeah, I've got a video out tonight actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so I left the yard at 20 past five this morning. Solo unit. Then realised I'm picking up a higher trailer so it's not going to be strapped in it. So I had to spin around quickly, go back to the yard, which took all the 10 minutes. So I didn't go that far before I realised. Um, <laughs> so I've loaded me side lockers of straps in case I need them. Um, so then drove an hour and a half from the yard to go collect this higher trailer, then drove an hour from there out to here to go collect eggs. I've got, uh, what was it, 19 pallets of eggs on. So that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they don't fall over. You know, that'd be no yolk. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are all going out to Guildford. Somewhere, well, it's not quite Guildford, it's near enough. I think there's a little place called Normandy, which is somewhere between Guildford and um, I would have shot somewhere around about that area. So that should be entertaining getting there. Yeah. And then I think after doing that, I'm going to be doing a run of Swedes back to Columpton. Ooh, I don't know whether I'm doing one or whether I'm continuing to do several, I don't know. But I've been told the farm that I'm doing the Swedes out of isn't the best one. So yeah, that should be fun. I don't know what he means by that, whether it's tight or whether it's just horrible and dirty and slippery or what, I don't know. But I will soon figure it out. Oh, where's this fire engine going? I'm going to go this way in a minute. It's going that way. So I'm going to stop. Yeah, it's going to go around me. I didn't want to sit there at the junction and, uh, <laughs> have a vehicle then turn into the road and then block him being able to come out so I thought it was probably best if I pull out onto the road at least being a larger vehicle get out of his way I mean I could have probably stopped there and he would have probably gone around us but like I said it only takes one person to want to turn in where I am thinking I'm letting him in and then turn in and just block him so I figure it's probably best for me to go pull out and then just stop but hey no issues anyway we're gonna head into Guildford Go get these 19 pallets off. Sorry, the uh, oh, fire, fire engine thing sort of threw me off a bit there. I wonder where he's going. Hopefully, there's no issues up here. Right, I will see you in a bit, I guess. Here we are coming up near the delivery point. We're about six minutes away, I think. Something like that. Called the sat nav, anyway. Six minutes thirty. Yeah, it ain't too bad. A drive stopped off at Fleet Services to use the facilities. Got a sandwich and whatever. Don't actually bring much food for me this week. Was, uh, shop it in shopping in except at the weekend and uh, well, <laughs> time was getting on. And obviously, as we all know, shops close at like four o'clock on a Sunday, so. We managed to whip into a little Waitrose. Was it a little Waitrose? No, a little Morrison's at about 10 to 4 on Sunday. So just grabbed a few essentially essential bits to uh, keep me going. So, but I've still got plenty of stuff in here for food anyway to keep me going. Oh, it's Mr. Frouds. One of us, the old boy I rescued the other day. <laughs> He's probably been out here and collected spuds from somewhere. Anywho, I. Uh, put a little update video out about my car a couple of weeks back and 
yeah, about doing the brakes and that. Unfortunately, I was going to film it all, but I just needed to get it done, so I just didn't have time to do it. Because you know, it, it, it does add additional time on filming, working on cars, you know. You know, if it's an hour's job, if you're going to film it, it's going to take you at least an extra half hour to an hour to do, you know. Now, this was changing all four calipers, discs and pads all around, and changing the brake lines as well. Bearing in mind, I've never done brake lines on a car before. I've only changed one rear caliper on a car before, so it was quite a bit of new work for me. So, you know, and I've never bled brakes before. I've I've always been the pedal pusher when it comes to bleeding brakes. I've never been the one to actually bleed them myself, but I know how to do it. I've just never actually had to do it. So, yeah. So it's, it was a bit of learning in process as well. So it, it took a good few hours to get it all done. I had a few stubborn bits to undo, but we got it all done without too many issues. Um, learning experience as well. One of the brake lines I put onto the caliper, I had it coming out at the wrong angle and it actually touched the back of the wheel, so I had to readjust that and re-bleed that brake as well. So, we had a few little jobs to do. Now, I know some of you, or, or I know one person in particular, has complained about me talking about car stuff on my truck vlogs, but at the end of the day, the videos are about me as much as they are about my truck driving, so, you know, I'm going to talk to you about some of my hobbies and some of the things I enjoy doing outside of work, because it just gives you a bit more of an insight into me as a person. Yeah, so, if they like it, come watch it. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously that's why I'm going to, I'm still going to put the car videos on this channel, because at the end of the day, this channel is my channel, and I'm going to put on it what I want, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Like I said, if a particular video comes up about car and you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Yeah, yeah so unfortunately I couldn't put a video up about that. So it was only just a quick update because I, I, I needed to get it done because the front near side caliper was sticking quite a lot, causing vibrations. So it's caused the disc to warp. And yeah, it, it stuck on pretty bad, you know. I'd get back home and it'd be smoking. <laughs> Um, so I needed to do it just so I can get back and forward to work. I do have use of other cars. My boss has a bunch of cars and that we can use that we need to and bands and whatever. So I do have use of other vehicles, but it's just nice to have your own car working. So I just had to crack on and get it done. So unfortunately didn't get a video done that. I started getting the bits together and I was like hoping to sort of do it maybe early March and actually film it, take a bit of time with it. But I didn't plan out that way. I just needed to get it done. So got on and done it. But I do have a few other things in, in the pipeline ready to go, so when I get a chance to, I'll uh, slowly start getting some of that stuff done. But I've got a fence to repair in the garden as well, so that's going to take precedent. Also got various other bits and pieces going on over the year. So. The car videos, like I said, will be very far and few between. And I did have another comment about the car, someone whinging about, oh, why are you putting money in that car, it's rubbish. I would call it a shit box, I think. <laughs> uh, so you're not going to add any value to that car, blah, blah, blah. Why not buy a decent car and actually put some money into that? Well, at the end of the day, I haven't got thousands of pounds to go out and just buy new cars. I wish I did. But then even so, I wouldn't buy a new car. I don't like the new cars. Why would I buy a car that I have to plug in every time I want to change a battery on it or something stupid like that? It's ridiculous. Don't like new cars. I'm quite happy with an old car that I have to maintain. That'll do me. I'll get the part of a new car. I'll buy a lane a new car at some point. But as for me, I'm happy to run random bangers that I can do up and maintain and whatever. Yeah. So, as to you. <laughs> don't like it. Again, don't watch it. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we're near the customer now. It's around here somewhere. I think it might be up that road there somewhere. If not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this is it. 
Alright, must be in here somewhere. Is it in this turn in here? I hope it's in this turn in here. Oh, okay. Lorries must not enter the yard before 7 30 in this uh, prior permission. That's fine. I will enter the yard then. Alright, let's put in it and then I'll go find someone. So I will see you shortly, I guess. See you in a minute. Alright. We is be a tipped. We were done, got our 19 pallets off. There was one pallet had some breakages on it. Um, just from being sort of pushed together, I guess. So, unfortunately, these things do happen. It's alright, add a little bit of a egg juice to clean up off the bed of the truck. Oh. I think it's just where the pallets are pushed together, it just sort of they just sort of smush together a little bit. But hey. Can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm so punny today, eh? I really need to stop. <laughs> Otherwise you lot will start unscribe unsubscribing. Oh dear. Alright, when we eventually get out of there. There we go. Too bad a job actually, it didn't take too long to tip. Um, we've now got to head to Warminster to go collect some, I think it was Swedes, he said. Swedes or parsnips, one or the other. Um, and apparently, it can be a bit of a bugger this one, so we'll see what it's like when we get there. Oh, you're gonna go, okay. Yeah, so you said he'll give me a dress in a bit. I haven't got it just yet. So we'll see what happens when the address comes up. I'll have a stop and have a look at Google Maps and plot my uh, plot which way I've got to go or whatever. The thing is, these are usually straight out of the field, so it's not a case of go to this farm here, it's a case of go to this field on this road somewhere. So it's not always the easiest places to find. It's alright when you've been there once because you kind of know, plus I tend to save them in the uh, sat nav for the future. I'm bound to go to each one of these again at some point. So yeah, we're going to crack on up the Warminster. I don't know how far away we are. About an hour and a half maybe, hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and do that. See you in a bit, I guess. Right, here we are. We are just joining the A350 from the A303. And the farm's not too far up here. I know boss said Warminster, but it's a little bit south of there. But just been, well, stopped and spoke to one of my colleagues who's delivered there, and he was just on the way out, as I called him. Uh, he's had a bit of bother trying to get out. He had to get get pushed out because it's really slippery there. So, uh, <laughs> and he's got a manual, so he's got more chance of getting out of slippery places than me. So this could be entertaining. Yeah. Um, they got a telehandler and put a bale of straw on it and pushed them up the hill. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this could be entertaining. Yeah. We'll get in there and manage it. If we can get out onto this road. This road's a nightmare to get out on sometimes. Not too bad when you're empty because you can at least get your foot down and get out of the way, but when you're full, you've got no chance. And now I've got all the traffic in the world coming up on my left. Three hours later. Alright, let's go. Actually, get some lights on. Don't really need my lights on. Got a dodgy bulb on the uh, tail light on the truck, so I'm gonna have to have a look at it. I think it's got a dodgy filament because it's, it don't work and then all of a sudden it works again. So I think the filament's flapping around and then reconnecting itself. So, but well, luckily there's two tail lights on each side anyway, so they do that now for redundancy, you see. So if you do have one go, you still have a tail light. I do have some spare bulbs, but whether I have the correct one, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to wait until I stop later, turn the lights on, see if it's broken again, and then uh, figure out which one it is. I can't remember which one it is. 
because there's two bulbs, one above the other. So, uh, I can't remember if it's top one or the bottom one that's gone. Right, not far now, a couple of miles down there. I love doing these farm jobs sometimes. <laughs> the thing is, they got to do what they got to do, move their farm machinery about to do their jobs, but the thing is, it just plasters the whole place in mud. And they, you have a bit of a job then. These vehicles aren't made really for going on dirt. You could have them kitted out so they work a bit better on the dirt slightly different tyres on them, I think you can have different suspension specs and whatever. Obviously we only drive um, 6x2 so we only got two wheel drive. If we had a 6x4 you'd have more power but then you're always running with an extra of two tire, uh, four tyres on the ground all the time. So more wear and tear. <laughs> yeah, sometimes even that wouldn't help. If we were in and out of quarries all the time, then we'd probably have better shooter tyres for it, but we're not off the road that often, so it don't really pay for us to have mud tyres or anything like that. Better shooter tyres, all terrains? No, I don't know. Knobbly tyres. Bumpy already. What's this say? Police. This land forms part of the public highway and any person found camping may be removed. Police authority and something something considerations. Fair enough. Oh. Not a silage pit there. I say silage pit, it's not really a pit, it's just silage dump there. Hopefully my camera doesn't get shaken loose. One behind me tends to move a bit on bumpy roads. Hopefully it stays still. Just leave it out, you can be staring at the floor in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to assume my colleague's already been and gone. I'll assume he's already left. Because it was about half hour between me calling him and getting here.
to apologise there. Just jumped out to take a quick picture for the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> Needs a must and all that. I thought, glorious view behind me in the mirrors. I'm going to take a picture. Because why not? All right. Uh, down here somewhere. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Take it, I'll just follow this road then. Ah, there's my colleague there. He's having problems. I think it's now I'm going to be in his way. Right, I'm just going to go see him, and then I'll uh, see you in a minute. That's Pete ahead of me. He uh, got a bit stuck coming up the hill, so uh, he had the farmer give him a push. But I didn't see his message about not coming down yet until he, uh, until I come over the brow of the hill. <laughs> so I just have to reverse out of his way. Thank you very much. No worries. Take it easy. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Take fun. Have fun. Yeah. So his truck's manual. So he, he's got a better chance on the slippy stuff than me. So. It's quite a steep hill, of course, his wheels are dirty from being on the farm. So uh, it's, it's just caused him to slip. So I'm going to have to do the same as him and get the matey with a bail grab to push me up the hill somewhat. Just for a touch of traction. You don't need a lot just to get going. It's just keeping momentum. And the thing is, oh, it just crashed me down, good man. The thing is, it just gets steeper from here. So uh, he said last year he'd done it and it was quite icy and he says it was damn right dangerous coming down here. He says he was just sort of skipping down. <laughs> so he's lucky not to just end up in a heap at the bottom. Alright, I'll take it I'm going over there because that's where their boxes are. That's really careful because there's a load of straw and muck down here. See where he's dug into the dirt there as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. I'm gonna have to put it in manual mode to come up as well. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, it's quite steep and we're gonna be fully weighted. So yeah, it's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Oh yeah, it's a hell of a jump there as well on the yard, look. So, slippery. All right, I don't know where he's gonna want me. I might just pull forward and then ask him. Right, I'll see you in a minute.
All right. We're all done, loaded, strapped up, whatever. Let's see if we can get up this hill now. He's already got the bail forks behind me with a bail of straw. As you can see, I've got the uh, camera on the trailer. I'm hoping I don't get mucked up with uh, cow muck too much. see what we can do because this is a steep steep hill and I got very muddy tires all right manual mode I'm probably gonna want third gear at most might even want second <laughs> it's stalled it's stalled Put weight in the airbags set. He's right behind me. See what we can do. Let's give me a push. We're just gonna stay in first, go up in first the whole way. So as we get over that slight brow there, we'll be all right. Daren't change gear, because I'll lose momentum, then won't get going again. Thing is, it's bumpy as well, so as you go over the bumps, it lifts weight off your drive axle, and then, I mean, it doesn't lift all the weight off, but it's enough to cause it to slip. Oh, there you go, I slipped then, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have got very far at all, I don't think. <laughs> Might have been all right if I tried it in first, I think. Maybe second. I think first would have been the way to go though. This is where I stopped because Pete was down there somewhere, so let's go for second. There we go. We got traction now. Wonderful. Things you got to do, eh? Yeah, it wasn't quite as dramatic as I was expecting because um, I got a couple of phone calls I had to sort out because uh, my boss told me what I'm doing next. Uh, so if it weren't for that, then um, yeah, you would have probably seen a bit more wheel spinning, a bit more slipping, and a bit more sliding. But because I had to do the two phone calls first, um, <laughs> he was pretty much ready to give me a push. So there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have got up there on my own steam, I don't think. That would have been a bit of a push. Anyway, I've got to go meet my other colleague, Dom, at Podmore Services, because he's taking this trailer on, because I've got a load to take into London. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do the old switcheroo. And, because uh, his truck can't go into London, you see, because he's got an old truck. <laughs> the old 105. Yeah, so uh, he's going to take that. And, uh, well, he's going to take this down to Columpton and I'm gonna take uh, oh trailer he's got in the London all right all right so I'm gonna 
negotiate this corner. Oh, slipping on the brakes. There we go. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've done our trailer swap. We now have the baby flatbed. Oh, bumpy. So we're gonna go take this into London tomorrow into Chelsea, I think, somewhere in there. Yeah, a little paperwork down there. I haven't plumbed it in yet. Because I'm aiming to get to Cambly tonight and I have three minutes spare on a four and a half hour drive to get there in one go. <laughs> so it's gonna be hammer down. Try and get there as quickly as possible. Yep, ABS not connected because it doesn't have ABS this trailer. EBS, ABS, whatever. Yeah, it's an old trailer, old, old trailer. Oh, let's uh, lower my suspension down. Yeah, so we got to go in the central tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Got to be there for 8 o'clock apparently, so I assume it's a crane lift. Though, I've been told that before and it's actually just been handball. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go try and get to Cambly tonight. I might have to stop for a half hour on the way, we'll sort of see. Depends how much traffic we get. So hopefully we don't get a lot and we can just like blast them up there for the night. So. Right, we're done for the night. <laughs> so yeah, it's only half past six, so it's not like overly late. We've done a total of nine hours, 16 minutes driving. Someone asked me to explain this, so I, this is the um, console anyway, so you got the button, you got the twisty thingy there, and then the back button, and then that's the button as well to select and back. So, obviously that's the screen. Press the wheel in, that allows you to select options. So that's so you can adjust the Bluetooth on your phone. Service things, that's for assisted cruise control and stuff. Axle loads, though that's not actually plumbed in on this one. Uh, vehicle info, so you can see when it needs a regen. Uh, the air supply, how much oil is in the truck, but can't say that when the engine is running. And uh, one I have is trip info and I have it on drive time so it shows me my drive time. So the top line is what I'm currently doing and how long I've been doing it for. So as I've been I'm sat at the moment with some current work. Uh, my drive time for my four and a half hours. So that's that's my continuous drive. So obviously if I have a forty five minute break that will set back to zero. Third one down is my daily total, so my, my driving for the entire day. So obviously if I have a nine or 11 hours off, that will set back to zero. And then how much break time I've had. Generally that one only shows like when you have a 15 minute break and then it stays at 15. If you have a 40, uh, another 30 or a 45 in total, that'll go back to zero. But then obviously it will show when you've had like nine or 11 hours or whatever. So yeah, that's what I generally have. So that's in case you know, you're interested in that. Anyway, we'll stop the Cambly now. Gotta do my paperwork, get my head down, relax for a bit, I suppose, have some food. And yeah, get ready to go into London tomorrow. Yay! So, you'll come with me for that. Um, I've been thinking about doing a live stream, maybe. Uh, maybe like a Q&A. Might play a game while I'm doing that or something, so we'll see about that. Um, yeah, we might do that. Uh, I might do it on my birthday, so my birthday is the 16th of March, you should all know when my birthday is because 16th of March is when amazing people are born obviously, so that's why I was born on the 16th of March. <laughs> so I've actually got a couple of days off then, so I don't know whether I'll stream on my birthday which is a Thursday or whether I'll do it on the Friday or Saturday, I haven't decided yet, maybe you could choose, should I do it on my birthday which is the Thursday, or should I do it on the Friday or the Saturday, I'll do it at some point in the afternoon. So. Um, yeah. So yeah, I might do like a Q and A while I play a game or something. So that's something to think about. I don't do it too often because well, I don't really have a lot to talk about to myself. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see about doing that at some point. Anyway, do my paperwork, get food, relax. See you tomorrow. Hello.
good morning. We're on to the next day and we're already in London. London. So we're just coming down Earl's Court Road. And we're going to go on to King's Road after that. At the bottom of this. So we're nearly at the customer. About eight minutes away apparently. In London traffic's about 0.1 of a mile. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Not been too bad getting in. Uh, left where I was at about 19 minutes past six this morning. Uh, and the sat nav was quoting me 26 minutes past seven to arrive on site, but now it's gonna be seven minutes to eight. So we're gonna be pretty much bang on time. So it's kind of worked out okay, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, cause I could have left at like seven and been like, oh, I'll get there for eight. But yeah, that would have never happened. I would have been like an hour late at that point. And so, Leaving 20 minutes earlier or 40 minutes earlier, you know, saves you at least an hour. That's crazy. Time just disappears, eh? Also, I've, uh, I've got a little message from Sam K to play here, but I'll have to wait until I stop to do that, because it's on my phone. <clears throat> I've decided to charge them £20 an hour to leave uh, advertisements on my videos, so uh, he left a 44 second message. <laughs> and the second and last word I can't play. Because <laughs> he makes a swear. Yeah, let me go BMW, thank you very much sir. That's right, we'll beep it out. <laughs> yeah, not been too eventful coming in here. Nothing major's happened. No, no wallies this morning so far. Someone, my bike, decided to cut out and not start again, so we had to push out the side of the road, but it didn't really affect anything. So, well, not yet, it hasn't. In a bit, it will do. <laughs> There's no hard shoulder or path you can get onto an ambient road, just barrier, so because it's on one, uh, one of the bridges. The bridge you go over just before you turn down Earl's Court Road, as if you're heading towards the centre of London, whatever that bridge is. <coughs> ah, bin men. Are they moving or are they binning? Let's go around them anyway. Oh no. He is moving. That's okay. As long as he keeps moving, that's the main thing. Must be a nightmare being a bin man around here. I mean, yeah, you do your job, but then you, when you fall, you then got to go to dump tip and then come back, which is probably the bit that costs you the most amount of time. I can't imagine they get too much done with his hours and whatever. Mind you, they're on domestic rules, aren't they? So I don't think they're governed by a tachograph the same as what we are. <clears throat> I'll either play a message from Sam when I stop or I'll play it as I'm just about to leave. So, depends uh, how quickly I've got to jump out and muck around with stuff when I get on site. Might have to speak to someone immediately. We'll see. Oh. Got to go to number 120 Kings Road. overtaking him so I've got to turn off in a second. Take a bit of room. Oh yeah, I'm going to take a march of that orange light. <sighs> <laughs> down here somewhere on the left. I wonder if they have somewhere particular for me to park. <laughs> I'm going to guess no. 
Uh, normally they have a little parking bit for unloading trucks and whatever, so we'll see when we get there. Nice and quiet on this bit of road. Why can't all of London be like this all the time? Cyclist, there he is. Sand's going to turn off now, which means I can't get around him. trailer this thing. <laughs> oh, you're going to spin around right there. Right, well done, buddy. Oh. Oh, well, I could have stopped for that one in time. <laughs> I would have had to proper slam the brakes on. I'm not risking me load tipping for that. I mean, I shouldn't do, but <clears throat> you never know. It's best not to tempt fate, as they say. Oh, I'll stay in the middle here. And I've got my sat nav set to exactly where it should be, so. Where the flag is on the sand should be exactly where I'm going. 226, so we've got to go down 50 buildings. So I'm wondering whether it's this. Mm. Yeah, it's got to be here then. No loading at any time. There's a guy sat there. It's in here I'm going then. <sighs> Sod it. I'm gonna have to stop here somewhere. There's, there's literally nowhere to stop. Right, I'm gonna have to go speak to someone. See you in a bit. I'm just gonna cause havoc here for a minute. <laughs> so. I got here a little bit early, only a few minutes, so I pulled forward at the site. 
Um, they're literally just pulling out all the cones now, so I'm just going to sit here with me um, hazards on. <laughs> they got the traffic lights up now. But I'm just waiting for him to set the barriers up for me to pull into. So while he's doing that, I will play you in a message from Sam K. Ready? Well, hello there, viewers of Trucker Jono. I'm sure you are having a wonderful time watching this video. And I'm Trucking around with Jono. And I hope you're all laughing at the fact that there's a country bumpkin who has decided to go into London. London, mate. It's one of them big city places. Jono, don't get scared by the big red things, right? They are buses. They're like big moving rooms. Right, anyway. I'm Sam K. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe if you want to see a proper drive going into London. Then, uh, yeah, in proper lorries as well. And, uh, yeah, go, go have a look at me. Yeah. Yeah, that was from Sam. <laughs> so yeah, go like, comment, subscribe to Sam. Whatever, all that stuff. Uh, his video will probably be out just after mine, if he's got one ready. Right. Just wait here a little bit longer. They're literally just pulling the barriers out across the road now for me to reverse into. <laughs> So uh, we're all done and tipped. I had to sort of quickly rush out. That's why I didn't have the cameras I pulled out of there. <laughs> so uh, I literally went forward down the road, ran the big roundabout, whatever that place was. And then now I'm coming back towards it to then go to where I need to go. So yeah, weren't too bad a tip actually. It didn't take too long. Oh, nice. Uh, dog just doing his business there on the path. Christ, I'll be proud of that. <laughs> So now all we got to do is go back to the yard. So because this is a really small trailer, a lot of the time it's quite hard to get a return load for it because you know it only holds like half the amount of pallets of a standard trailer. Well, probably a bit more than that, but I don't know. I did measure this trailer at one point, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, a lot of the time it's, it's difficult to get return loads for this trailer, but it's ideal for doing this sort of work because bringing a full-size trailer in some of these places could be a nightmare. Plus, it was only, what, seven pallets? Six Euro... Yeah, they're all Euro pallets, so it's three across the bed. So, yeah, there weren't many. So, there's no point putting that on a standard trailer when you can get, like, another load of that on easy. So, yeah. Obviously, if we had a bigger load to come, then we'll bring a standard trailer, but... Obviously, only got the little one, so back to the yard it is, which is three hours and 34 minutes away, which is going to be more than that, because, uh, well, London. <laughs> and I've got to stop for a half hour on the way, because I don't have clear driving time. I've got an hour and, hour and a half on my driving already. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see all the barriers are out now. They weren't out when I... Uh, got there earlier so <laughs> they had to quickly whip all them out for me to reverse into bit of mayhem as well some people obviously ignoring the traffic lights and uh, people end up nose on with each other and couldn't get out because people are impatient but yeah it'll figure itself out the workmen soon went into went into play and controlled the traffic for a second while everyone got sorted oh, you're not gonna wait mr. John Lewis okay could just wait a second I could have got past his van Saying you pull them back in again. But, um, anyway, I'm going to head on back to the yard. I will see you later. Much later. Yes. Right. So we're back in the yard. We've been here for about 45 minutes now. Uh, we came back in the report. I dropped the trailer off at a customer. One I can't film it anyway, so no point showing you that anyway. Because I can't. Uh, then come back to the yard, Bobtail, and now I'm hitched up to another trailer. Which is going to Kings Lynn for tomorrow, 8am 8, 8 tip tomorrow. So I've got to try and get as far up the road as possible. 
there's not really much more I can show you today, but well, I'll probably see you later on when I stop wherever that may be. Uh, he's not in there, he disappeared. He usually give me boss a wave on the way out, but he bag it off. There's a bugger trying to get out of it. She can't see nothing until you're pretty much on the road. And then people beep at you. So, well, uh, I can't see. Come on, Minnie. There we go. Yeah, so we've got, got the King's Lynn for tomorrow. So, yeah, only 10 pallets on apparently, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> And then we got a load to come back to three different drops tomorrow, I think. So, but then I might not be doing them. I might just be picking it up, coming down, and then sopping over with Dom, and then going back into London. So we'll see what happens. If it all depends how far I get on the night and whatever. Um, Camberley is about two hours and forty minutes away from here. Two and a half hours, two two hours forty minutes, something like that. So. If I stop there, I'm going to be cutting my driving a bit short today. So I'm on five hours driving, so... If I get there, I'll be on like seven and a half hours, which isn't really enough. I'd like to push on a bit more. The thing is, I'm going to be like... In motor motorway territory then, so it's going to be a case of... Pushing on maybe into another ten, using both my tens up by Tuesday. Not really ideal, but, you know, you got to do what you can, I guess. But we'll see where we get to. Yeah, so I'm gonna shoot on off up the road. I'll see you in a few hours, I guess. See where we can get to. Royat! We are up on the M25 now. We're at two and a half hours driving. We've got about another hour and a half roughly to where we wanna be for the night. We're, I'm planning on stopping somewhere between Bedford and Peterborough, somewhere around there. Not the best area to stop, but I think I found somewhere I can stay on a, an estate around there somewhere. So we're going to head for that and hope for the best. But as it's still a little bit of daylight, I thought I'd end the video here so you can still see me and my beautiful face and all that good stuff. <laughs> so um, I've, I've been talking to uh, one of the daughter's boyfriends about potentially doing a different sort of video one day for you lot. Um, he wants to come out with me for a week, see what it's like out on the road. He doesn't have a car license even, so, you know, no plans being a truck driver. He's actually a chef, to be fair. So, um, we're, he's going to come out of me for the week, and I'm going to get him stuck into doing all sorts of things, and then he'll let you know what it's like to be a truck driver from the view of someone that's not a truck driver. So, obviously, he's not going to be able to do any driving, but... You know, he'll get to do all the other stuff, throwing straps, ratchet and stuff down. All depends what I got for that week, obviously. I don't know what I got tomorrow, let alone sometime later on in the year. <laughs> it'll probably come out of me sometime between April and May, so uh, it'll probably be about then the video will be coming out. Maybe even June, we'll see. It all depends when he can get a week off. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that'll be something a bit different for you. You might get a bit more of a perspective of different stuff. It'll be filmed differently as well. There won't be quite as much driving on that. But we'll see. We will see. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here because there's not much more to show you. I'm literally going to find something to park up for the night. Stuff me face and go to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be good. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. That is entirely up to you. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. There's quite a few of you that watch it that aren't subscribed, but why not subscribe? It doesn't cost you nothing. And then that way you'll see when my videos are released. Uh, my videos are released at 6 pm on a Monday anyway, in case you don't. So, yeah, there is that. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of that video idea. Yeah, could be interesting, I think, to see it from someone else's perspective. Someone that's not interested in truck driving at all to an extent. And, uh, yeah, sorry, speed limit's changing here, so I'm just paying attention to that. We're dropping down to 40 for some reason. Um, 
yeah and uh, also share my video with someone you think that might like it share the love get the videos out there get the channel noticed all good all good anyway that's it from me take it easy look after yourselves drive safely thanks for trucking around my Jono and I'll see you in the next one goodbye Damn you M25, every time.